if you're enjoying this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. We need you here. <laughs> you know what? It's my opinion that there just aren't enough gay characters in mainstream entertainment. I don't know why. I don't know what the holdup is. Uh, don't you guys realize June is passing us by? It's Pride Month. It's almost over, and there just aren't enough. Oh, what's this? Marvel announces first gay Spider-Man. Just in time for Pride. Just caught the tail end of June. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. It's me, Ethan Van Skyver, 29-year veteran of the comic book industry. And uh, I had to talk about this. Everybody else is talking about it, too. We're going to take a, a deep dive into uh, Marvel Comics' first gay Spider-Man. Uh, just in time for Pride. Yeah, there aren't enough gay characters in comics. And you know what else there isn't? enough of you know what else uh, we find in short supply actual creative people uh, who are willing to work for subsistence level wages in the mainstream uh, that being the case and uh, therefore uh, it being an impossibility to create actual new characters that might be gay let's just take all the characters that you love and turn them uh, into uh, celebrations of pride what do you say uh, this pride month Turns out that the Spider-Verse is big enough for the LGBTQ plus community as Marvel welcomes. Welcome! Welcome uh, the first gay Spider-Man uh, into the fold. That's beautiful. We've got Peter Parker. Look at this little... He's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, all right, whatever. Uh, comic publishers like Marvel have been stepping up their game for Pride Month. We need more gays and we need them now. Uh, so they've announced Web Weaver. Uh, this character here is named Web Weaver. I've actually called him Skin Crawler. I think Skin Crawler is better. Uh, and I hope that they maybe consider taking, uh, I don't know, my name, my idea here. Uh, all right, let's see. Sharing the news via Twitter. This guy, Steve Fox. Surprise! I had the huge gay honor of helping to co create Web Weaver who will make his debut in the Edge of Spider-Verse number five this September. Uh, designed by the one and only Krista, Christopher Ranka, Christopher Ranka, Christopher Ranka. <clears throat> now I'm, I'm sad to, to see that Steve Fox, I think he has, I think he has blocked me on the Twitter. Oh, he has, he's blocked me. That's a little preemptive, uh, but I don't think Christopher Ranka has yet. Yeah, oh, block me. I don't even know you, Steve. Why? What the heck? Uh, but somehow you knew. Somehow you knew this day would be coming. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with uh, this guy here. Now, Chris uh, Chris Anka actually did the uh, designs, I think, for Into the Spider Verse or something like that, which was pretty rock and roll. So, I mean, he's a good designer, uh, and yet, uh, what the? <laughs> ah! Oh! What is this? What is going on here? Uh, all right. So, I, I, I listen, respect. I respect your design sense, sir. Uh, this is not a superhero, though. This is a runway drag queen of some sort, I guess. But, I mean, maybe that's what you're going for. What do I know? From the jump, I looked at a lot of McQueen and Moogler. I don't know who those are. And I guess that's probably good. No need to research that. For this as inspiration, I cast a wide net for original designs while also looking at new and unique spiders uh, that Steve Fox has recommended, which eventually pared down, <clears throat> sorry, pared down to this look here. Uh, so this is uh, this is the new uh, gay Spider-Man, complete with the uh, posture, a nice kind of attitudinal pose here, uh, cocking his hip to the side like a woman. And uh, just like what, bitch? What do you mean? What do you want me to do? Uh, his uh, eyes have um, uh, really nice eyelashes on them. I don't know where that, that came from on the spider. I can see some of the markings were used, I guess, in here uh, to make this design. Uh, this is interesting here, I guess. This is his new spider logo. And then he's got this kind of drag queen spider eye look. And the question is how people are, are feeling about this. Now... Marvel Comics and DC Comics are all um, uh, going out of their way uh, to celebrate Pride. Uh, and there are a lot of people who are there to celebrate Pride with them. Uh, they uh, applaud when Superman 
is turned bisexual, when Robin is turned bisexual, basically every superhero uh, in, in the DC universe right now, the entire Justice League uh, is gay or bisexual or lesbian. Um, they applaud. I, unfortunately, the sales tend to decline. But that initial rush, that initial... is it, Do corporations get dopamine hits? Uh, because I think that must be part of what's going on here. Uh, that must be part of the motivation for doing this. 56 quote tweets. Let's see what people are saying. Um, I don't know what that is there. Uh, is he a black Ukrainian Latinx, says uh, this person. This is a good question. Uh, let's really narrow down. If he's black, that's great on the uh, victimhood hierarchy. Ukrainian, very victimy. Uh, and then also Latinx, uh, which, uh, you know, Latinx. This is such a fun Spider-Man design. Fair enough. You know what? Mm-mm-mm. Uh, oh, Miss Weaver out here serving us. All right, so these are clearly typical Spider-Man fans. This one's very smart here. There's no way this Spider-Man isn't gay. There's no way. Now, this person has suspected that Spider-Man, other Spider-Man have been gay in the past. This one, though, give me a break. Gator is going off here. That's not your spider sense that's tingling. Um, this is funny too. After the Miles slash Thor controversy, in which Miles Morales, Miles Morales, yeah, uh, was turned into Thor, uh, and basically uh, did nothing but spout off um, black stereotypical dialogue, like hip hop dialogue from 1991. Uh, people laughed at that. Uh, this is good. This person's reassured. This is a, as amazing as it looks and isn't just filled with stereotypes. Hell no. How could you say that that was stereotypically gay in any way? I mean, the nice, long, kind of flowing sleeves here that are cut, slit right up the forearm, and then just dangle. Nice shoulder pads here to sort of broaden out. No, uh, there's nothing stereotypically gay about this. Uh, a fashion designer. Uh, this person is a Van Dyne, uh, so maybe they're related to the Wasp, Janet Van Dyne. Uh, don't really know. Um, look, this this again. This is a new expression that I've never heard before. Interesting. Now we're learning a little bit about uh, current culture here. We're learning about what the kids on Twitter, the TikTok uh, fans, are saying. Looks fucking amazing. So whenever this happens, you're going to see a lot of um, uh, a lot of praise. Uh, <laughs> oh, Spider Queer! As Marvel is doing what they're doing, evidently Marvel is serving. See you next Tuesdays, and lots of them. Uh, all of these people are being served, and uh, by Marvel Comics, and that's good. All right. So what do we got going on here? Uh, Web Weaver, that is his name. Uh, let me go back and uh, see that article. Oh, what do we got? Hmm. I like the attitude here. It's like, what, me? And then, uh, oh, is that crazy? The only thing you're craving is this penis. Uh, <clears throat> the, only <laughs> the only thing you're craving is ass. Um, no, the only thing I'm craving is that ass. Watch me serve up some C-U-N-T. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I like the... Uh <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening? What's going on to comics, guys? What is happening to the comic book industry? Why is it like this? Why is it about 100% gay now? I never thought of comics that way before. I never thought of superheroes as leaning in that direction, but uh, that's where they are now. I mean, now it's inevitable. There's a whole generation of kids that are being raised to go superheroes. That's gay. Uh, and I, I really don't know what to do about it, except to uh, point and laugh. So that's what we're going to do with the pencil of scorn. <laughs> ah, look at him. Look at his little, ah, look at his Victorian neck collar here. Look at, ah, <laughs> oh, Craven. Uh, good luck to you. Um, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I, I don't, I mean, all I can do is shrug at this point, guys, every single day. Uh, a new classic Marvel or DC character is turned gay. And uh, all we can do is just, again, just shrug, point, and laugh. Uh, leave me comments, subscribe, like this video, and I will see you again soon with another one. Take care.
The All Caps Comics eBay store is live for all of your non-soy comic book needs. Whether it's Cyberfrog, Starblades, or Rainbow the Brute, ask for it in all caps. Check out the link in the description below. Hey, come follow me on Twitter, at Ethan Van Skyver.